All right, good morning, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your, this is just your messages for right now. Ooh, there's definitely a Virgo. Some of you guys have a Virgo moon. I have a Libra, and I have your energy here. Communication is key. Communication is key. All right, so Gemini's, what I'm getting, whether you tell the truth, the truth will set you free, but if this person accept your apology or accept what it is, as long as you tell the truth, that's all that matters, okay? Someone thinks you're lying. I don't know what it is that someone thinks you're lying. Maybe it can be about new love, saying you're healed from something, but... Hmm. Let's see. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, and your energy, Gemini. Any mutable sign, too, Sagittarius, Pisces, when I see the person, same energy come out. Because we have Virgo, we have Gemini, and the next two will be anything with twos. Pisces, Sagittarius. Hmm. You're not really showing people how you feel. You could be hurting on the inside. I don't know if this is heartbreak or something. Um, someone could have made you feel as if you're unworthy. This is something that you could be feeling right now. A relationship. You're pushing through. You're saving face. Hmm. What's wrong, Gemini? Oh, what's wrong? Okay, so Gemini energy. Let's see what's going on. Definitely some healing needs to happen. You want somebody to accept your apology. I feel like if this is dealing with emotions, Gemini, yeah. Here's your energy, Queen of Swords. You want someone to accept you for who you are. Rare form, who you are. You don't want anybody to come in and tell you you need surgery. You don't want anyone to come in and say you... You know, watch your mouth, change anything. Some of you guys have, you guys are at the age where, you know, nothing is, I mean, you're not really going to change. You're kind of who you are. This could have been an energy that you've been in. Yeah, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Kind of just a sad energy. And I'm speaking on you. I'm not speaking on your person yet. But I feel like you're healing. You kind of like overworking. I hear, um, Throwing yourself into work to forget about what happened. That's how you're pushing forward your job. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Time can feel like it's just like moving so slow for you. But Gemini with the Six of Wands here, slow but steady wins the race. That's what I'm getting. It could be a Taurus that you're dealing with too. Slow and steady wins the race. Allow yourself time to heal. Actually go through your emotions. Go through your feels because hopefully you're not drowning yourself in alcohol. But I will say, yeah, allow yourself that time to nurture yourself because that's what I feel like you're not doing. Queen of Pentacles in a reverse and a page of swords in a reverse. And you have a lot of debt. I don't know if these are bills, baggage. Something about this is expenses here. That's what I'm saying. But you've been carrying a lot of dead weight. So let's come up with a plan. I just told someone that they need a plan. Taurus. Go look at that energy. Go read that. Taurus. You're not fearful to jump out there and start something new. But your dream. you need a practical plan. Like you're not reading a contract all the way to the end. Those tiny words. You need to read every ounce of the detail and then some. And some of you guys, this is a slap in your face because you are not even... You're supposed to be an entrepreneur. But there's something about you that keeps taking the easy way out. Love is a distraction for you. Libra energy. Yeah. I don't feel like you're all the way at peace, like all of your chakras being aligned. I don't see that. But anyways, so let's get into Gemini's. If I just had to give some type of advice right now, honestly, I would say self-care is the best care. 
Self-love is the best love. Go into, throw yourself into working on yourself to become the best person you can be. Aries energy, emperor, and I have the three of swords here. Yeah, the hierophant in a reverse, and this is a breakup. This is a divorce or a breakup or something. This is... Yeah, I will actually, honestly, uh, this is a Sagittarius energy too. So, damn, do you not feel attractive? Oh, yeah, definitely. Gemini's, come on now, Nine of Pentacles. Let's get back to us. Aretha Franklin, a rose is still a rose. Baby girl, you're still a flower. Come out of that energy, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Come out of feeling like somebody just left you and abandoned you. They didn't. They didn't. It happened for a reason. It could be a Leo. Okay. All right, Geminis, I want to get into the person that you could be dealing with right now. Yeah, you're just stuck. You're stuck. Hey, man. Energy, you're stuck because this love situation could be with a Leo as well. Didn't pull through. You feel weak. Ah, uh, excuse me. Hmm. You were trying to help this person, whoever you were with. You were trying to help them. You were trying to groom them, love them like no other. I got mother energy. The Empress, you were trying to build with the Ten of Pentacles, protect, provide. And I felt like you were silenced with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. High Priestess in the reverse. It's like, you it's something that's inner with you, Gemini, that you just don't understand. Why does it always go wrong? You know, with all of these tools, it can be a split personality, bipolarism, or someone who has it. Yeah. I want to get into your person, Gemini, but I want to use a different deck for this person, right? So we're going to go into the mantra, the sex deck, and let's see. The person that's on Gemini mind, oh, it's crazy because I have the priestess here in your energy in the reverse, but I have the high priestess here in the upright. Definitely could be dealing with a Pisces, Taurus, and I have Aquarius energy. The chariot in the reverse. Wow. Five of Swords in the reverse. It's like you don't know how to whatever past pain. Okay, this is what your person is feeling about you. The star card in the reverse. They love you. Don't get me wrong. They do. But they run away because something about you is so intense. Like you see this lady, like whatever she just said, this person is trying to escape hell. You know, so I don't know if it's like two personalities. Aquarius energy is here as well, Pisces. But you have someone trying to get the hell away from you because, or this could be them because of their ways. So maybe when you drink, you turn into a different person under the influence. Definitely Taurus energy under the influence. Gemini person, how do they feel about Gemini? What are we getting here? I love this deck. Okay, the Empress, again, Pisces energy. They see you with the punishment in a reverse. It's kind of like, it's your mouth. It, it's something, it's mental, it's in your head. It's like mental chaos. It, it's like one minute you're okay, then the next minute you're like complete nut. I don't know if it's like behind closed doors. This can be once you're, again, high under the influence. I have Capricorn energy here too. You turn into, like I said, the damn devil. And I don't even think you know this. You turn into a whole other person. A completely different person under the influence. And this is what's forcing this person to take a break from you. They need, like, somebody is like, oh, I got away. I got away. Okay. I can breathe. And then when you come back to soberism, <laughs> look, soberism, is that even a word? But when you are back to being sober, you're a normal civilian, planting, garden, gardening. Someone could be younger than you and ride horses or something like that. Like, a, yeah, it's like someone is normal and they're not under the influence. Like, you could garden, you, can, you could just be like a normal person. And then when you get drunk, it's like, whoa, whoa, who is this person? Definitely a King of Wands energy. This 
person also feels as if you don't love them. Your communication, Gemini. I don't know what you said to this person. Sagittarius energy, eight of wands in reverse. But you keep a person stuck in their head. And there's always something about this, my fat lady who get rejected card. And I'm not being funny, I'm being honest. There's something about you being rejected or you tired of being an option or not being the one to people. Yeah, Ten of Cups energy, Pisces energy again. You're dealing with a mutable sign. You're dealing with like your twin flame, your, your other half or something. But whoever this person is, they, they're trying to get a way to, I want to say regroup. Is that a Taurus energy? No communication, no messages, anything coming through at all. They're not communicating. Someone's not getting it. Okay, yeah, three of swords energy. And they just left you here to fend for yourself and pick yourself back up. Cancer energy. Here's that king of wands I was telling you about. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You feel like this person played with your heart? But I'm actually getting that again. The fulfillment of self-love. Learning to love yourself, nine of cups. This person also could have been selfish and all for self. What is this? Yeah, not coming forward. Again, very slow. If they even, even think to come back, is it truly slow? Ace of cups in a reverse. I got you asking yourself, was this really love? The four of wands in a reverse. And you can just get news that somebody is just out here minding their business, partying, and having fun like you didn't mean a thing. But don't feel that way because while you drown, this is what you're feeling as if someone didn't care why you drown. Scorpio energy. But somebody, the lover's card, you, and then I have the Queen of Cups again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Emotionally, someone is very much so... piece of work someone couldn't drown in your emotions some of you guys didn't even love this person for real to be quite honest your person loved you but you didn't love them you looked at them as a form of art but not knowing that you were really tearing them down take the messages how it apply yep as i said that the king of cups wanted to come out sagittarius energy again the judgment like someone after you tore them down, it's like you forced them to get back with you. There's a lot of manipulation and mind games here with the tower card. I think when this person cut you off, the ace of swords, that's what got you. Somebody had to gather themselves. Do you see this queen of water? You see how she's holding herself? Like somebody had to get themselves together emotionally. They, I don't know why I keep getting like... Yeah, see, you, the masculine energy is not really loving... The feminine energy is. Someone looked at you like a piece of meat. This could also be the mother of your children. But I feel like in a world, Gemini, some of you guys, you pray. This is a very dark praying energy, though. Look at this. You pray, ten of swords. When this person left you, it was crazy. Oh, yeah, masculine or feminine. When this person left you... You pray for them to come back. You know, you kind of got this lone wolf energy going on. The hermit. Your fear is to die old, alone. To die alone, yeah. You don't want this person to be, or this person doesn't want you to be. Oh, goodness, Gemini. Yeah, this person doesn't want you to be single. They want you to come back and rebuild with them. All right, so let's just see. Romance Oracle for Gemini. Love yourself first. Didn't I say that self-love is something that you need to really practice right now? Anything else for Gemini? Maybe if I talk to him. <laughs> <coughs> so 
excuse me. <clears throat> no. It's not coming out. Nothing is coming out except for unrequited love. In reverse, because I do feel like you still love this person. Still attracted to them. But they're telling you, you can't really go somewhere. You can't go anywhere with this person or without loving yourself. Passion. You can't love anyone without loving yourself first. And that's just what it is. And I feel like once you master how to love yourself, you'll be able to love this person. This is someone in the military from afar. Or maybe Geminis, I will say, some of you just need to apologize. <clears throat> Express your love. In a humble manner. In a humble, humble manner. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> I have finances and career. Stay optimistic about your love life and playfulness. I do want to see, what, but at the bottom, this is your true love. So, you know, sometimes you have to free fall in love to get what it is that you want. You do. <clears throat> what is that show? Love at the Lockup? I don't even know why I just heard. Keep your head up. <clears throat> you guys, excuse me. I just heard Keep Your Head Up by, this is so good. I'm sorry about that. Those are my eye and pills. Keep Your Head Up by Tupac. Yeah, you're not even ready for something new. You want that old thing back. You have to be nice. <clears throat> How does this person, last card for this person for Gemini, how do they feel? If you don't change and you don't go fight for your relationship, this person is not going to take you serious. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. If you don't go change and you don't let that person know how much you love them, this person will not. Marriage. This person will not come back. I'm telling you. For some reason, it's you. You have to change. Because if you run off and go get married to someone new, I feel like once you ex really express to this person how you feel, Gemini, the stress will be gone. Bottom of the deck, all yours. Just tell this person you love them. <clears throat> 